Okay, so we find out what rank Saitama is. He is C388 at the beginning of this episode, but after he captures Super Sonic Speed, you know, the ninja guy, he ranks up to 342. And he thinks that he's weaker and can't teach Genus anything because we found out that Genus, he is at S class and he is rank 17 in abilities and in popularity is rank 6. Uh, uh, could that be a reference to a um, popularity pool they have made in uh, on the web, you know? Or was that in the manga? Was that in the manga? Because I have not read the manga and I'm not sure if I have time to read it because I'm behind. So yeah, it's funny because we know Saitama he is strong and I wonder if Saitama he is stronger than Fubuki or Tornado because from what I found out when I uh, looked up what the name of this uh, girl Fubuki was, I found out that she is the sister of Tornado and man, Tornado, waifu man, she is waifu. But I found out that Tornado, she is S rank 2. So she, there's only one that is stronger than her. And I don't even know who that person is because it's just saying rank 1 blank. So I wonder who is that person? And is Saitama stronger than her? I, I actually want to know. I almost feel like asking Chibi about that. I think I'm going to do that. But yeah. But uh, let's get into this episode. Uh, technically, we are already into it, but let's just say it's funny how Saitama he reacts when he found out that if, uh, as a C rank, you have to do hero work at least once a week, else you loses your license. But then he just runs around in town, and that causes people to basically send a, another hero after him called Tank Top Tiger. It's so funny. It's so funny. And it, because they think he is like a bad guy. And Tank Talk Tiger tells him that he needs to stop doing that, you know, like running around the town and looking like strange because that puts a bad, that uh, uh, makes uh, other heroes look bad. And then he gets taken out by Super Sonic because if, uh, as he says, Super Sonic, yeah. Uh, if Saitama won't fight him, he just creates a situation where Saitama has to fight him. And the reason why Saitama won't fight him is because he is on his last day where he has to do some hero work. And then he's just like, oh, I don't have time for you, I have to find a bad guy. And then he realizes, oh, it's that Super Sonic is a bad guy. And then just uh, appears behind the Super Sonico and takes him out in one karate chop. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. And also, some of the hero names is funny. Like, Golden Ball, or what is he? What was it? Sprinkle Moustache. And Watch Dogs. Man, some of those hero names are so strange. So strange. And it's funny when, uh, you know, Saitama, he has defeated, like, a monster that two A-classes can't defeat. Which makes me believe that Fubuki isn't a challenge for him because she is only B. I think she is the leader of B class. So yeah, I think she's not a challenge for him. And then when other heroes looks at the destruction his uh, punch has caused to a building, they say, I don't want to fight that monster. And it's actually Saitama. So it looks like, from what I can understand, that the reason why there is an increased, uh, you know, monster uh, while there shows a lot of strong monsters up in in the, the CD set, the abandoned part is because of the Tama because the monsters hear about a strong monster and they want to most likely try out to find this monster and defeat it. And then they run into Saitama and yeah. So it's really funny. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I really, I really hope we get to see something more of Fubuki and Tornado because as I already said I like those two and Tornado waifu man waifu oh man 
<laughs> oh man, I, I need to ask TV about her. But <laughs> before I fangas too much over her, I think I'm gonna stop this review and wish you all a good day, good night, wherever you are. And yes, I will be getting to that uh, hidden new area straight away. So see you guys later. Cheers. <laughs>